Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a Starbucks iced green tea latte. So let me start off by saying that the other day I went to Starbucks like I do every Saturday and I was going to get my cup of coffee. And so I called my mom and asked her if she wanted anything. And at first she didn't want anything, but then she green tea latte. So I was like, okay, I'll just get it for her. And for a grande, it was literally like almost seven bucks. And if you guys don't know what a matcha green tea latte is, basically just the matcha with water, sugar, and milk. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make it cheaper and taste better. So one way you guys can make a green tea latte is just by buying this tea. I got it at Target for like three something. It's a green tea concentrate, which means you just add ice and milk to it, and that's all you have to do. I haven't tried it yet, but it's the same brand that Starbucks uses for like all their teas and everything so I imagine it being good so another way I make my um, latte is by buying this brand of matcha powder I got it at Walmart this is about like six dollars per package and it is only only three ounces so it's not a lot that you're getting for your money but it's enough and then I fill my mason jar with hot water. And then I add a tablespoon of matcha. And then I just mix it around. I also add a tablespoon of sugar. And I found out that if you add powdered creamer to your latte, it kind of neutralizes the sugar so it doesn't make it as sweet and it makes it more creamier. So I'm just going to put... Like about two tablespoons because I like creamer in my latte. And also you guys, you guys can use any type of creamer or sugar. And then I just add, and then I just add two ice cubes. And now I'm going to add the milk in. And I'm, and I'm using whole milk, but you guys can use whatever you guys want. And I put that much milk in my latte. But again, you guys can adjust the amount, the amount of sugar to matcha or the matcha to milk. This is how I like it personally. So if you guys find it too strong, just adjust the amount. So here it is, you guys. I did my calculations and this actually came out to like $1.50. Maybe even less considering that everybody has, you know, sugar and milk and water. Um, but let's give it a try. It tastes way better than Starbucks. As as I said, the powder gives it like another smoothness. It's smooth, cold, and nice. Especially right now since we're having a heat wave in California. Um, this thing is great for the summer. You guys can also make this hot. You just have to warm it up in the microwave. Anyway, you guys, that's the end of this video. Hopefully you guys like this video and I'll see you guys on the next video.